What's going on guys and welcome back. Before we get to this video about our buddy CNA skis and putting skis on my Assault Boost, a uh, couple things. First off, thank you everyone for all the support. I know I normally put it at the end of the video uh, and some people might, might not make it that far, but thank you for all the support, all the views, all the likes, all the subscribing, which is the big thing that I always tell you guys. Just click that subscribe button, it's free. It doesn't mean anything. Um, so big thank you to you guys. And secondly, there is some snow up there. Um, I don't know what kind of riding is gonna be had, but if by the time you're seeing this video, I'm probably almost in Tug Hill. And so we're kind of <laughs> we're kind of like rummaging around, making sure that all the last minute stuff is done. And this, for me, this was like the last thing for right this moment um, to get done. So we just made sure Nugget Sled, Nito Sled in the trailer are good. And now we're just finishing up um, my sled right now, and then we're gonna slap it in the trailer. So, with all that being said, we have in front of us, <clears throat> obviously, a whole set of skis. Now, CNA, for as long as this channel has been around, I've told you guys, this is my number one mod that I will not ride without. And I, I truly, to the bottom of my heart, mean that. I trust in them, I believe in their product that they make, and frankly, it, uh, it gives me confidence while riding because I know my sled is gonna turn when I want it to turn and you know, I don't have any questions about it. So we have some different models here and we have talked about different models before, um, but I actually have a model here that we have not talked about yet on the channel. We're gonna talk about it tonight and then in the season, I'm gonna do another video on swapping over to these and give you guys like a what I feel uh, video. So pretty much what we have here, we have CNA XPTs, we have CNA XCSs, and we have CNA Razors. So pretty much lengthwise, they're pretty much the same. They're between 44, 45 inches. Oh, the weight is give or take about the same, but the big thing happens on the bottom side of this. So if you go over to the XPTs, <clears throat> you're gonna have, you have a six and a half or a six and a quarter inch wide ski. Uh, you have a three quarter inch keel. So your center keel here. And then you have these two outer keels. They're like, I guess you'd call them U-shape. Um, but they're not all the way on the outside. Uh, helps reduce darting and gives you a little bit of side bite, okay? So we're gonna move over to the XCSs. XCSs are six and three quarter inches wide. And now these are obviously used ones. I've had these for a couple of years now. So these are six and three quarter inches wide. They have a one inch keel, so a quarter inch deeper keel, and they have square outer keels. Um, so this is a very aggressive ski. But right now we're just talking about size. And then you have your razor. So your razor is six inches wide. So it's the skinniest of the three skis. And it has these triangle uh, outer keels. And Ryder's here to tell you guys a little bit more about them. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <clears throat> so pretty much what is the difference between the three of them? I've always been an XES guy. I was for a while. Well, coming from the snowcross background, I was an XT guy, which are big. I do not recommend them for trail riding, they're extremely, extremely aggressive. Very, very big keel. So once I started learning about more skis and setup and whatnot, I went over to the XCSs and they were great. They were awesome. And then I happened to ride a, uh, um, a sled with XPTs on it. And I'm like, wow, they feel a little bit better in the small stuff, but you still get the bite that you do from the XCSs. So long story short, what I'm gonna be running are XPTs this year. Okay, so XPTs were kind of purpose built for these new sleds. The rider forward, weight on top of the skis, so they're not as aggressive as say an XES or even a Razor because you have more weight on the skis, but they're still a step above your factory ski because of the deeper keel, longer keel, uh, wider ski, you know, the little outer keels. When you move over to the XESs, these are kind of made for your, um, like almost non-groomed or very deep snow uh, trails, or if you're if you run these on groomed trails, tight, you're gonna be literally on a railroad track. It's like you, it's like wherever you point it, it's gonna go. And I, I that's what I really do like about these. Um, I just found that the XPTs gave me all of that, but a little bit less steering effort in the slower stuff or the tighter stuff. So that's kind of why I go with the XPTs. So now the razors were actually built back in the day for the older style sleds where all the weight was back on the 
like on the on the rear skid. So these are gonna be a little bit more aggressive than your XPTs. So your razors are gonna be that center ground between your XPTs and your XCSs. So I'm very excited to try these. Um, I know a lot of the cross country guys still use these. So I've actually never run a set. So I'm very excited for that. So hopefully we get some good snow here in, in the near future and I could kind of bounce between that. And I went with a black razor so when i put them on you guys know that they are different than my xvts um but these ski i'm really i think i'm really gonna like those um but anyway <clears throat> without further ado we're putting it on boost assault so of course we went with the white theme this year so it's only fair to go with the white skis look at this have you guys <laughs> ever seen a more spoiled dog oh, yes. oh that's a baby chicken what are you doing so when you buy a set of skis, you have to buy uh, the ski, and then you have to buy a mountain kit, depending on what sled that you have. Um, so our buddies over at CNA sent us our mounting kit, 2012 and newer. So you get your ski bolts, you get the washers, you get new ski dampeners, ski rubbers, as some guys call them. And then you get these bushings that you have to press in here. I just use a little C-clamp, super easy to put in. Um, if you go to your ski rubbers, and I've talked about this before, but I get the question often. What way do they go? So you always want, especially on these, you want the big tall end to go to the rear. So that's gonna put, give, if you throw it in there, that's gonna give you a ton of heel pressure. It's gonna lift the front of the ski, it's gonna wear even. As if you didn't have that much heel pressure, you're gonna have a lot of pressure on the front of the ski and it's gonna wear the carbide weird. Etc. Etc. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get these things thrown on there, and of course we are gonna be running our eight-inch Maverick Woody's Maverick runner because they're just the best, and they're literally exclusively what I run. I don't run anything other than a Woody's Maverick eight-inch bar, regardless of conditions. So we're gonna go ahead and slap these little white guys on here. Might teach old Benito over there how to put some skis on. Um, CNAs are a little bit tougher because this ski rubber is so aggressive that you really gotta, gotta get it in there. But at the end of the day, it's worth it for the ski rubber to be a little bit bigger and it, to be harder to put the ski on because you're gonna get the best performance with the ski rubber. So I'm gonna put the phone down, get this table out of the way. We're gonna get this thing kind of squared away and on the ground. And bada bing, bada boom, with Rai Rai's help, they're on. So if you look at the skis, and I talk about this every year, you look at the skis, you see how up the tips are. That's because of that ski rubber putting so much heel pressure down there, which really helps with the overall performance of the ski and the wear of the ski. So we're just gotta, we gotta throw our carbides on and frankly, that's it. And then this thing's gonna get loaded in the box and we're gonna be set to go for tomorrow. So we're gonna slap on these eight inch Woody's masks. Are you excited or something? Sorry. Keep it up here. <laughs> right, what did you take away your toy? Yeah, my bad. Here we go. <laughs> Honking away. She's doing pretty good after knee surgery, can't you guys tell? Bada bing, bada boom. Look at these carbides, man. They're badass. They are. Just, they just look yeah. badass. So we are set to throw this thing in the trailer. And uh, pretty much, yes, big shout out to CNA Skis. They do a ton of stuff with us and for us. Uh, again, since I started the channel, they've been on board. So big thank you. Um, if you guys are interested in skis and you have some questions, let me know. Um, again, this is, a, this is a mod that I will not ride my sled without. It's just, it's a confidence thing. It's a safety thing for me and I just won't ride without them. Um, <clears throat> A lot of people ask me, you know, oh, is it increased, you know, uh, steering effort? And yes, regard if you go more extreme on, on your ski or on your carbide, it's gonna go back through the bars to you. So yes, you are gonna get increased ski pressure or increased steering effort. But I, to me, the pros outweigh the cons. And with a set of XPTs with the right carbide for your application or your riding style or your weight, et cetera, et cetera, which I, again, I'll help you with. Um, bar none, the best in the business. So uh, big shout out to CNA Skis. This boost is ready to go. We're gonna go and slap her in the trailer and we're gonna hit the road tomorrow. So if you see us up there, say hi, because we'll be there. 
And we're gonna start testing and tuning on this thing and getting it to ride right. But that is gonna do it for this video, guys. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. The studs look really good. It looks so good. Yeah. It smells so nice.